It is beyond exciting having you both here. Thank you. Thank beyond. You. Beyond. Beyond. Beyond, beyond you, excited to be sitting here. And with you. you got the stance. I love the stance. I noticed that I look better when I sit like this. Do you prefer so it that way? If because you don't mind, I'd like to do no, a whole interview like you this. You could. You could stay that way. Whatever makes you happy here at Young Hollywood. I'm so happy right now. Are you? Yeah. The ocean and the sun, both beautiful, both deadly. Stacy, honey. Dan. Dude, yeah. Hey. What's up? Oh, yeah. I came here to get you to come to our high school reunion. This reunion is for everybody. It's for all of us, not just him. You're acting so weird. I'm gonna use a bad word. You guys act the shit out of this movie. Thank you. Thank you. Another half five. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, one thing I wanted to point out. You guys kind of have a reunion. It's like art imitating life because you guys worked on Touch by an Angel together in the yeah, 90s. We did. Do you know, the Touch by an Angel, in fairness, I didn't even remember that we had done that. <laughs> like, I had blocked that out until Why? we like got to that's set hurt, that's and then hurtful. someone said, you know you guys work together on Touch by an Angel. I was like, what? It oh took that long to, all the way to set? No, I don't remember yeah. exactly when it came back to me, but it was a part of my life that I had forgotten. On purpose? I, I tucked it away <laughs> in, a, in a drawer, but yeah, touched by an angel. Yeah. We did that. Yep. I and then when I, you know, when I went back and watched it, I mean, it's a hot blast of cheese, but <laughs> I thought we were pretty good. We had some you good chemistry. You can tell we had some, uh, we had some, some work. Yeah. We had, we had some work in our future. I got us a couch. Yeah, let's sit at the bar. Oh. He's a banana boat guy. Banana boat. That guy is this guy, and this guy is that guy. Speaking of your past, did you guys, because you have your, your claim to fame in this movie, is that you did this banana boat commercial. Yeah. Any commercials, <laughs> national commercials that you guys did on your sort of rise to Hollywood superstar? I never booked any commercials. You know, really? I went, no, I went on tons of auditions, and they just didn't like me. I booked my first job was a, a, a national commercial for... What? Uh, I'm going to date myself here, but do you remember Atari? Did you ever have an Atari? <laughs> yes. Before you were born. And uh, there was a game called Pitfall, and it was like a jungle game. And uh, you would like swing through the vines and jump over alligators and get to the gold. And uh, yeah, that, and I was 13 years old. What so were you that, doing in the commercial? Were you just playing the game? Is it? I was wearing a safari hat. It's only like three seconds. And I go, just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry. You never forget your first gig. Yeah, but <laughs> I wouldn't forget Pitfall. I grew up on Pitfall. Yeah. It was, Probably because of you and yeah. your safari hat. You don't even remember, but yeah, I, I was probably the thing that sold it. What was your first gig? I had two lines on the pilot of The Nanny with Fran Drescher. What were the two lines? You gotta remember those. I was caught kissing the, the daughter on the balcony at a dinner party, and I was asked to leave the party. And I say, but but we were just, and he goes, you were just leaving. And I'm like, yes, sir. And I, and I leave. So. You were taking a muscle relaxant before, down the old hatch. in LA. Dan, it's in the past. <laughs> Dan, I don't know how you did it, man, but you bagged yourself a good one. Yeah. Right? Has something changed that I'm not aware of? I mean, maybe we should talk about it. Oliver! What do you want to talk about, Dan? Oliver, wait, why did the music stop? Um, I know that these were first time directors on this film, and there was a little, you did a meeting with them, a yeah. little, so you sort of like you tested them out, you asked them who their favorite directors were, favorite films, you said you eyeballed them a little bit. You gave I did, them the eyeballs. I gave them the, yeah. I love the script, and they said they wanted to direct it, and I was like, mm, okay, what have they directed? Nothing? Okay, well then I got, I got to meet them and, and uh, run them through the, uh, the vigorous Jack Black test. And I was like, uh, what, what uh, directors do you like? And then they said, the direct, said a couple directors, and I'm like, all right, all right, good, let's do this. That was it, I'm not a very good, Tester. All right, but, well, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna test you guys. Oh, if we're good I'm, testees. It, yeah. But if they had said like a director that I didn't like, like it was gonna be off. If we're good I'm, testees, testees, testees. But if I'm asking you guys, favorite directors, favorite films, I'm putting you guys on the test. I mean, it's gonna be so boring, because it's gonna be it's like, gonna be, yeah, it's, Kubrick, it's, duh. It's The Godfather, <laughs> Coppola, nice. Spielberg. I mean, I grew up on Spielberg. Tops. Well, Mainly up, up Jaws. And Jaws is my favorite encounters. movie. Ones with Richard Dreyfuss. I like, with Richard I like Dreyfuss. my Richard Dreyfuss Spielberg. You know what I mean? I agree. That yeah. era? Yeah. Um, I like the guy that did Terminator. That Oh, James Cameron. Cameron. Here's another one. Scorsese. 
May I speak with Jeff Settleson, please? Yes, it's that time. Jeff? Dan Landsman. Dan, over from high school. I want to talk reunion with you. 20 years, can you believe it? That's not very mature. I thought if I could deliver Oliver Lawless, I'd be a hero, single-handedly saving our reunion. How about this? D-nice. What? Have people just call me that from now on? In the beginning of the film, there's a cute scene where you say you flip, you know how to flip a no into a yes. Yeah. You said you can flip ya. Have yeah. you guys ever in Hollywood turned a no into a yes? Um, it, mm, mm, interesting. <laughs> but you know, I have a festival, a comedy music festival that I curate every year and it's called Festival Supreme, if you don't mind me plugging another sure, project. Sure, go for it. Plug. Tickets and on sale now. We are constantly trying to get like the most awesome musicians and, and comedians and yeah, sometimes they'll be on the fence and I'll squeeze their lemon in the perfect way to get them to flip it to it. Yes, That's I'll right. do your fest. I send a really pretty provocative email. You it's do. hard to say no to me when I send you the magic. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it dirty? No. Oh, sorry. But I mean, you know, it, it gets intimate, but not dirty. <laughs> Back to the pose. It's hot. You turned a no into a yes ever? Have I? Yeah. I don't know, this town is like you say no and it becomes a yes. Are we talking about sex? I can't tell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, um, you're kind of a sycophant in this film for Oliver Lawless. Yeah. Um, one person you guys in your lives have been, a, you know, felt that way about? I was really into Radiohead, so I, I was kind of a psycho fan of that Dude, who is that dude? The radio Tom head dude. York? Tom York. That's the one. <laughs> the guy you're sycophantic about? I can't yeah. remember his name. Such a bad memory. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I don't really had one. Kurt Cobain? Weren't we all? Didn't we all want to be Kurt at one point? Sure. Can't think of one. What about you? If I tell you, it's going to sound really bad. Tell. Oh, that's a good one. Say it. Am I allowed? You have to now. You have to now. No, it was me? <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> and Allow Bono. Allow to make Bono. your dreams come true. You just flipped a no into a yes. 